Probably the biggest thing I admire in other leaders is the ability to kind of stand out and stand on what they believe and, and, and really go out on a limb and, and do things that other people necessarily wouldn't do. You know, some of your greatest leaders of, you know, some of your biggest corporations or biggest athletic teams or whatever it may be, they had a moment in their life where they went out and did something that other people didn't believe in. But that's what stands them apart. They're willing to take those chances and take those risks and, and, and jump on in an opportunity. Those are the biggest things I admire in, in, in a lot of leaders. I, I think leaders should not lead from afar. I'm the type of person that, you know, wants a, my leader to jump in with me. So I, I need to know that you're on my team and you're willing to fight with me. So, so somebody who's willing to go in and do the little things and the dirty things, get in the trenches with this people that they're leading and, and not just someone from afar yelling out commands or, or yelling out things that they need to be done. Somebody that's willing to do the work also. I, I think just people creating ceilings for, for yourself. Um, I think sometimes you have to, to be extra prepared and that's been the kind of philosophy I've taken. You know, it, sometimes the outside world will try to put a cap on what you can accomplish and, and, and being prepared and, and having the documentation or whatever it may be, the, the information to combat that and let them know you're prepared and, and, and let them know that you are capable and able to do things that you're setting out to do is the first thing to overcome that and, and like I said preparation is the biggest thing. Probably for me the, the most important thing I've done was A go to law school and, and what that did was had the opportunity to prepare me to develop some of my leadership characteristics but also what's important for me and what's big for me is, is to to learn from other leaders. So whether that's reading and, and looking at somebody else's path and, and kind of taking bits and pieces from what they do and incorporating to my leadership skills, I think a portion of leadership is born. You're born with it, but I think a portion that you can develop and learn. And I've done that by working with great administrators and, and, and being around great leaders in itself. I am a believer of that it factor. I think a lot of people you know, that are great leaders, just have something natural about them that, that other people are drawn to. Uh, you know, you always hear the word like dynamic, you want a dynamic leader. I, I think that's the natural part of leadership. You know, having that aura about you where people want to follow you, people want to do what you're doing, and people are just naturally attracted to you. You can go to any sporting event, any business, and you can pick those people out, and you can pick them out usually pretty easily. So, uh, so that combined with being prepared and, and knowing the information that you need to know to be successful and also understanding and being a people person, you put those three things together, that's the type of leader I would be looking for. For me, my biggest thing is my mentors. Um, surrounding myself with people who I feel are great leaders that I can learn from. You know, I've always been the type of person who who learned from other people. I remember when I was playing football, watching film on the past, great receivers, and, and taking bits and pieces of their game. In my professional career, it's been the same thing, watching other leaders and trying to develop that relationship and, and take bits and pieces of what they do and kind of incorporate it and do it my way. But that's the biggest thing, surround myself with great people, great leaders, and, and, and then learning from them.